Congratulations, Rick. You got me to watch a movie that f***ed me up. Bro, you wanted me to watch this? Really? They killed a bunny in the beginning. How did you continue on? But then you tempted me by telling me that this movie was like Salo and Serbian film. And you know what that meant. I am all in. And you know what? I fucking dig it, you sicko. And for the rest of you, this is the movies that f me up. It's the 1987 film Necromantic. As with most of the movies that are on here, which I love, this one was outright banned in Singapore, Malaysia, and New Zealand. It was also banned in Australia and Finland. Why was it banned? Well, first, there was a lot of animal cruelty, like shit that I saw when I watched Cannibal Holocaust. I mean, I can kind of compare it to that. But then there was also the fact that it dealt with necrophilia. Necrophilia is the sexual arousal or acts with a corpse. Yes, kids, the name of the movie is what we are dealing with. We're dealing with fucking necrophiliacs. This is what she looked like when we pulled her out of your little fucking torture shack. She ain't so fuckable anymore, huh? Oh, yeah, she is. There's a scene in here with a psychologist talking about desensitization. And when he's discussing this, Rob, who I'll tell you about shortly, is in the movie theater and he's watching a horror movie. Look at the crowd. People are laughing. Other people aren't even reacting. Like some chick is getting mauled. Some girl decides to jump on a guy's lap. So they discuss desensitization. And then this movie is kind of a little bit on the f***ed up. So that's a little bit ironic for me. When the movie came out, it was also in the height of the AIDS crisis, and that kind of comes in to play a little on. So what is this movie about? Well, first we meet the unassuming Rob. Rob, his job is actually cleaning up scenes, and he picks up body parts, you know, d animals. It's just a gross fucking job to have. However, he's supposed to pick them up and take them to the morgue or to a lab, and some of them make it there, others he takes home. And when he takes it home, you see a collection around the house. Things are in jars. Obviously, I don't know, I guess pickled. I don't know, I don't do this shit. You see that this whole time he has been bringing stuff home. But the stuff that he's been bringing home, it's not just for him, it's for his girlfriend, Betty. So let me tell you about Betty. See, when we are first introduced to Betty, Betty is taking a bath and it's a bath full of blood. So obviously we all know something is really fucked up with her. So as I said, Rob, is collecting all these parts and you know basically his job he's dealing with all this shit that kind of turns him on and it turns out so does betty and one day you know coming home from work he decides to bring her a present is it an arm a, a heart a leg yeah no 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 what he decided to bring home was this slimy corpse listen if you're gonna bring home a dead body at least bring home a fresh one you know, one that skin is still kind of intact. Again, I am not into this, but if I were to do it, I would probably want something, I don't know, pretty much fresh. But instead, what he brought, it was rotting. It was slimy. Like, I mean, there was pretty much flesh missing from it. So I don't understand what the attraction was on this, but that is what he brought home for his girlfriend. And well, we're gonna get to this part right here because you know what, they end up having a little fun with this body. And this is why you are here for the movies that f me up. You're going to need a shot to get the taste literally out of your mouth. Ugh, slimy. <laughs> Lucky for you, it's time for my piano lesson. <laughs> Imagine watching a movie where a bizarre couple steals a corpse that had washed up a sore, probably rotting for months, having all types of disgusting sexual relations with a decomposed husk, only for the woman to prefer the cadaver over her meek husband? There are depraved levels to this shit. Possibly one of the most bizarre movies I've ever seen. Trigger warning, don't watch this if you're easily offended or you have a weak stomach, and most definitely stay away if you loathe animal abuse on film. I mean, I fast forward past one section that was extremely fucking cruel. The opening accident cleanup scene, while highly disturbing, 
was possibly one of the most fascinating parts of this movie. Seeing how mangled bodies are swept off the street like trash was wild to me. Like seriously, f***ed up. And finally, the ending, that fucking ending. Yeah, if blood and splooge ain't your thing, you're in for a nefarious climax. One and done, never have to see this movie ever, ever again. Now, if you still wanna dive into this obscene piece of art, just be cautious because you may never see sex the same way again. Not nah, seriously, it's f***ed up. I'll leave you with the words of Betty herself. Left for good, took the corpse. So these two decide to have a threesome with the corpse, and it was gross. But fun fact, John Waters, who I absolutely love, called this the erotic film for necrophiliacs. Yeah, no, it, it's not erotic at all. Yeah, so how do they have sex with it? Well, here, let me tell you. First, you end up seeing them sawing. I'm gonna go with a broom handle. I couldn't tell, it could be a mop handle. It don't matter. It was a handle, it had the metal part at the end. So they start sawing off the piece. It was a pretty long one, I'm not gonna lie, but they saw it off and then she decides to screw it in, I guess, the spot where it would have been. Betty, like seriously. I mean, look, I know it's the 80s and all, but you couldn't get a dildo? I mean, really? A broom handle? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking all kinds of th things are gonna go wrong with that. But still, if you wanna make it more realistic, I would've gotten a dildo instead of a broom handle. Not that I would know. So then she slides a condom on this makeshift dildo. I mean, it's because it's the AIDS crisis, they're trying to give you a little message here, but you know, honestly, it's a fucking, a handle i mean so props for her you know safe sex with the handle i mean i guess you, you gotta watch out for the splinters and tetanus so you know she screws this in there puts the condom on and then gets on top and then rob and betty proceed to just start kissing all over the body rubbing themselves it's slimy i mean like i kid you not it's slimy like when she's touching it she put his hand on his face all i'm thinking is ew 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 that's like dead body juice on my face but still I kept fucking watching this. I could have stopped, but I kept. So they continue to just start licking everything, rubbing themselves all over. But you know where it was really a little bit overboard? So as I'm watching the movie, I kind of have the munchies, you know, I smoked a good one here, but, and I was sitting there thinking, damn, what should I eat? And then Rob starts licking the eyeball. And as he's licking it, he literally sucked it into his fucking mouth sucked on the goddamn eyeball and then spat it back out in place you see like the slime and then he kisses her i i my mouth watered i dry heaved when i went to watch this again for this recording like the first time around yeah i had to put on superman red sun to kind of get some of these images off and this time around i fast forwarded for just this spot and when i got to this part again with the eyeball yeah my mouth watered I, I kind of thought I was gonna throw up. I mean, I didn't, uh, but yeah, I kind of thought so. So yeah, this movie is just fucking disgusting. I mean, seriously, like just ugh, the close-ups to the corpse, the slime, and again, just the, the, ew, the sucking of the eyeball. Like, really, bro? I can't believe you made me watch this movie. Fucking love it, you sick little bastard. But still, you made me watch this movie, and it's on Shutter. I mean, if if you saw it and you want to leave some comments on this one, by all means, go ahead. I will probably never watch this movie again ever i don't need to see this shit this one's up there on every once in a while shit, i don't even know if i can fucking eat shrimp thinking of a prawn especially thinking about that fucking eyeball so thanks a lot rig like seriously thanks a lot i contemplated on calling you when i was done on this one just so i can hear your voice when i tell you you're a fucking dick for making me watch this one also tell you that i love you here's my fucking thoughts you're a dick again i am a person that you have to watch everything that's out there you have to like no matter how much it's gonna push your boundaries and this one's up there i mean i would never think of having sex with a fucking corpse watch all movies bands you're like get them all in there because this is what horror is all about so until next time, I hope you enjoyed this fucking episode. Hope it didn't leave a bad taste in your damn mouth. But I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.